Hi, I'm Terry from Arcan. In this segment, we're going to talk about your water heater. So, on this model here, the water heater is located in the back of the unit. Now, this panel here does get hot when the uh, water heater is operating, so make sure your kids know not to touch it. So, simply just twist this tab and we'll open it up. There's nothing you have to do out here for the standard operation of your water heater, it's all done from the inside. But I want to show you a couple of things out here uh, to be aware of. So, this is the Medic water heater. Uh, this water heater has a drain plug located in the bottom left corner. And this drain plug here is just a plastic little plug. Now with this plug, uh, you're going to use some pipe dope or some thread sealant on there and to put this plug in. And you'll be ready to fill it with water. Once the water here is full of water, you're ready to, you don't have to refill it each time. It'll stay full, same as your house. Um, to be 100% sure it's full of water, if you're not quite sure if the bypass valves are in the right uh, location or you're just not 100% sure, you can just simply grab this pressure relief valve, pull up on it. Now water will spray out of here. If it sprays out of there, it's coming out of the top of the tank, you know that it's full. So this, op this water heater operates with two sources of heating. One is 110 volt. So if you're plugged into shore power and you want to use it on electricity, you can uh, heat the water with, with electricity, or you can use the propane uh, propane heating. Now with the propane, you do require your battery to be functioning to operate the circuitry here. So nothing really to do out here. We're gonna go inside and show you the switches and show you how to operate this thing. So here we've located the switches for the water heater. We have the 110 volt electric switch and the LP gas switch. So if you wanna operate your water heater on electricity, simply just turn the electric switch to on, the switch will illuminate and the water heater is already running. It, it takes a little while to get your water up to temperature, but it will cycle on, It will cycle with a thermostat. The thermostats on these water heaters are preset, so you can't adjust them. It'll just run to whatever that temperature is, and when you use it, it will reheat the water as co new cold water enters the tank. Um, if you want to run it on propane, uh, simply use the propane switch, turn on to LP gas, and it will fire up and light on gas. This, this model here doesn't have a check light, but if the water heater fails to light on gas, what it'll do is the, there'll be a little check light to come on. Simply just turn it off. If the check light comes on and try that cycle uh, one or two more times. If it, feel, if it keeps failing to light, you may indicate a bigger problem and need to get it in for service. In the example that we used, we had a Atwood water heater with Dometic. This is a Suburban water heater, so just want to show you guys the difference here with the Suburban. So with the Suburban water heater, um, you'll know the difference because this water heater is square and the Atwood is rectangular. Uh, the main difference is the drain plug. Everything else we, discussed, we showed you in the video is the same. So this drain plug here, we have an anode rod. Because this is a steel lined tank with a glass, steel tank with a glass lining. With the Atwood tank, it's an aluminum tank, so it doesn't require this anode rod. This anode rod is what it would look like when it's brand new. Um, this anode rod is completely gone, just has a little steel rod in the middle, definitely time to be replaced. And in this, uh, in this anode rod here is the one that's in this tank. You'll see it's pocked and pitted. That's actually okay until it gets down closer to that steel rod. You, do, you wouldn't have to change this. You probably The anode rod would probably last you about five years. Um, and the anode rod simply goes in the bottom here and threads in, and that's your drain plug as well. So every year when you drain this for winterizing, you're gonna inspect that anode rod and see if you need to replace it in the spring. Other than that, the water heaters function exactly the same, Atwood versus Suburban. The main difference is that drain plug. So if you have any questions, please feel free to visit one of our many locations or give us a call. We'll be happy to help. Thank you very much.